Hey guys, my name is Tanya G, and I'm from New Zealand, and you are watching The Omar Boys. What is up fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to my life movie. We're here at Cracker Barrel, my homie's favorite right here. If you don't know who this is, Mr. Gene Flores, aka Dusty Dishes. Go check him out. I know a lot of you are suffering through some really, really cold weather, and maybe that's why you watch my videos here in Florida, because we got sunshine, we got blue skies, we got palm trees. I mean, it is awesome, but it happens to be cold today. You know how I was like swimming in the water like a couple days ago? No, not anymore. It dropped down to like 50 degrees or so. It's, it's, I know you might think, I mean, that's probably a warm day for you guys up north, but when it's 90 degrees and it jumps down that low that's cold so we're gonna get warmed up get some food and i'm gonna feed you hope you're hungry Fun fact about my friend here, Gene Flores. This is, I don't know, his third time? Yeah. His third time at Cracker Barrel. Very first time he's ever been here was with me. I brought him here. And all he talks about now is freaking Cracker Barrel. <clears throat> so, Cracker Barrel's nice. They got them everywhere. They, I feel like they're all connected in a way. Like they all have that fireplace right there. Um, all the decorations are a bit different. Gene's like eyeballing the menus, like I want everything. Do you even know what you want? No, I don't actually. I'm scared. Yeah, every, I'm scared. You want everything. So what did you order, Mr. Gene? A lot. He got the sampler that comes with everything, and as the lady's walking away, he's like, oh, can I add, can I add this? Can, can I, and then she's closing her book, oh, can I add tomatoes? My day, boy is hungry. Are you very happy? Very happy. It's a very happy Gene. Very happy dusty dishes. The only time I am not vegan is when I come to a place to eat breakfast like this. I will have some eggs, but I try to stick with egg whites. Still no meat. And that's what I got. I got a veggie omelet. Yum. And I, I am going to cheat a little bit and have a little bit of cheese. That's a hash brown casserole. You got to try this if you're ever at Cracker Barrel. I'm just gonna give you some right now. Here you go. It's really hot. It's good, right? Make sure you check this guy's pockets. He's he's stealing. Got a couple of nice t-shirts for our upcoming trip. Either we I think we leave tomorrow or the next day. What'd you get? I got shoes and I got some joggers. I got some joggers too. Can't go wrong with, I mean, I paid like 80 bucks and I got, got like a jacket, maybe six pairs of shirts and a pair of joggers. Like, can't beat that. Anyways, we're going to go to Walmart right now. We're going to get a crap ton of tinfoil. <laughs> Gene had this idea of, I don't know, explain to them. I don't know. So on YouTube, there's this like trend where people are making these like aluminum foil balls that are like perfect i don't know how to explain it, it looks really. so cool so yeah these people are creating these they look like metal balls they're, they're really cool well i was thinking about going a step further i mean at first i'm like yo i want to make a ginormous one but the thing is it's gonna take a long time for we're gonna be hammering that thing that's what i see on youtube yeah you gotta hammer it we're gonna try it out it, it could be a fail it could be something cool but what i want to do get some food coloring too and make the metal balls like different colors like you know red blue green yellow whatever whatever colors they have in food coloring do you think it'll work when i was a hairdresser i mean i'm still a hairdresser but when i was practicing hairdressing more we used to have these foils that were actually colored they were colored foils i wish i had those to use but those foils they were so expensive it, it would look cool because we would do highlights with them and sometimes I would use different color foils to know, okay, I have a red color right there, or I have a different color in this foil, just so then you kind of stay away from the blondes. That way, the colors don't bleed onto the other colors, you know what I mean? We're going to try it out. We're going to give it a shot. Should be fun. All right, let's go to Walmart. Look at this. 
350 square. I mean, we don't need nothing fancy though. What are you doing? So we can make one this big with 400. That big? Yeah. Um, I think that is the best buy right there. You get 400. So we're gonna have to, let's do a couple of these. Gene's gonna do his own version of this video we're doing too. So it's how many do you cool. actually wanna get though? Um, I thought we were gonna go one. I wanna make a big one. All right, I'll get the whole thing. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I want big balls. How many do you want? Uh, get me, let's do like, let's do like five or six of them. So all of them basically? I guess so, yeah. Oh my God, okay. We got all of them. Wow. You know what that looks like? Like an oversized toothpaste box. What are you doing? You're gonna get get us kicked out of here. What kind of glue is that? Blue. Blue glue? Hmm. There was a time where I used to eat this glue. By the way, do not eat this glue. It's bad for you. Glue's come a long way since I was a kid. I mean, freaking glow in the dark? What? That's awesome. Glow in the dark to foil ball. Oh, yeah. In case you're wondering how much money we spent on all this tin foil, between the two of us, it was over a hundred dollars. But hey, check this out. The Walmart lady that was checking us out right now, you know, she was checking us out. <laughs> Jean promised to give her our balls. You know, our, our foil, foil balls when, when we're done making them. Well, yeah, she was wondering like what we were up to. She's like, why, why do you need all this foil? Are you gonna tin foil someone's house or something? You know, I wonder how much foil they use to foil someone's apartment. You know, have seen any of those videos? I know I've seen it on Vine and stuff where... That's a lot of tinfoil. This is a lot, yeah. You don't realize how much. Like, this is a huge roll. 200 square feet. Like, 200 square feet is... Damn, that's probably like... It's like this car. John is here. And he has a VR game session going on right now. This is the future right here. Dude, the door's open this time, Jay. Dude, the door's open this time, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, remember the struggle yesterday? The door is freaking open! Is this what he's seeing? Oh, that's cool. Oh, he got past the part we were yesterday. Dude, when you did this is scary. Like, What's this game? Paranormal activity. The soul. Oh, say so yeah, what was it? Bro, he's on his like hands and knees. I mean, this is cool. This is how video games should be. Wow. <laughs> I can't see you. Don't get in front of me. Get out of here, Luna. <laughs> Dave's gonna be doing some of these cool, like, scary games on his channel, and he's gonna be like filming. You know, kind of like, kind of like how I film. But he'll, he's gonna have that on the screen. You know what? Uh, that this is so cool. I put that headset on for just, it was literally one second, and I was like, no. <laughs> because it just, it's too real. It, it makes me sick. I, I'm the kind of person that, you know when they do those warnings on certain video games about seizures and epileptic attacks? That would be me. Because it just, I don't know, for some reason it just makes me really, really Ow! sick. The Luna getcha? I really can't see anything outside of these glasses, you guys. I don't know where Omar is, so I'm hoping he's in this general facility, otherwise I look like a moron. He's really into this video game here. We're gonna be doing this whole, uh, I don't know what it's called, the, the foil ball, like I promised. The Japanese mirror ball. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Japanese mirror ball. When I told John and Jay about it, they, they were like, what? So they're gonna be a part of it too. It's gonna be really awesome. Even Max is really excited about it. And, but only problem is, is Gene, he woke up really, really early this morning to edit some of my videos and he's sleeping He told now. us to wake him up when they start. Okay, wake him up? Yep. All right. So we're gonna be doing that pretty soon. I'll wait for him. I don't wanna disturb him. Let him get his sleep, you know what I mean? He's editing for me, he's working for me, so I want the lad to be happy if you know what I'm saying. So I will see you here in a little bit and we are gonna get right to this. All right, fam, look who woke up, finally. <laughs> hey, he's been working really hard for us. I 
really worked him last night. That didn't sound right. <laughs> uh, he's he's been editing a lot for me, so uh, shout out shout out to Gene, and uh, it's just cool because we get to hang out a little bit more too. But I'm gonna show you what we're doing a little bit different than some other people, and you know, other than the color. But you know how some people are using the sandpaper. Well, I managed to find my sandpaper machine. I don't know what do you call it, a sander. Okay, I found that. I've had this thing for ten years. They're still selling the same exact one. It's a Black & Decker at Walmart. And I think it's like 50 bucks. This thing is great. I used it a lot for drywall, sanding, and things like that. Uh, first time ever we're going to use it for a foil ball, though. You're doing it in the kitchen? No, we're going to do the sanding outside. Oh, okay. We're just creating the ball. We're doing it in the kitchen. <laughs> no, no, we're going to do it outside. No, we are. Really are. Be, it's going to be really it's dusty. Be no, uh, when it comes to the sandy part, we, we are going to go outside. I don't want to, because breathing aluminum dust is probably not the healthiest. It's actually could kill you. You want to help out? I have school tomorrow. <laughs> Who needs school when you have, oh my gosh, TV? No, I'm just kidding. School's important. Stay in school, guys. <laughs> We're going to start with one and maybe use two of these rolls and see how far we can go with these. Two, four, six, eight. Someone would be missing some balls. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't mean it like that. Just, if we do it even. Yeah. He wanted an aluminum ball. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna give you two. All right. Give you two. Oh, they're heavy too, bro. Yeah. That's a lot of weight. How much weight do you think's right there? Ooh, five pounds. I was saying like five two. pounds, yeah. For the individual, do two, and for the large one, do four. Let's just start out with um. Let's start out with one for now. Let's see how how big, because you know we gotta compact this and then hammer it. I, I've never done this before, but it's gonna be fun. It could be a giant fail. You think it's gonna be a fail? Nah, we got it. Oh, look at Gene, man. I trust Gene's opinion, man. Oh no. I've seen nah, Gene. man. We, we got this. Bro. We, we we got this. Gene said he's gonna vlog with this ginormous tripod. <laughs> Big tripod, little camera. <laughs> Dude, I think we should make a video like bringing that tripod places. We should do a video of vlogging awkwardly. Like, oh, a vlogging have, like, awkward. You have like That's big right. mics and you're holding it through public. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, how the boom mics? Yeah, honestly, I, I see people all the time at, at Playlist Live and uh, no disrespect to anybody who vlogs out. I mean, I'm a vlogger, I've, I've used so many different cameras, but it's so funny seeing people's reactions. When I vlog, I mean, when I feed the camera, I mean, imagine that, having a, a big, you know what would be really funny, vlogging with one of those old school VHS cameras? <laughs> yeah. Like the ones that dad used to put on his shoulder, you know? I think it'd be really funny though, like like his idea, just vlogging like awkwardly with, with all kinds of different things. I mean, when, when you go to Playlist Live, if you do get to make it, you see all these kids with these cameras that are unrealistic to vlog with. I mean, they're just, it's cool and all, but honestly, there's great cameras that are in small packages. For me, I will vlog more if I'm able to put my camera in my pocket. And they, yeah, they just got some. Yeah, it's more discreet. Dis discreet. <laughs> discreet. And honestly, it's not as invasive. Sometimes if you're vlogging with this big camera, people get really offended. They're like, I don't want to be on camera. And, you know, this, I just whip it out and people don't say nothing. They just think I'm taking pictures. Whip it out, you know. All right, let's get started. <laughs> I know why you need the hammer now. For the compacting. Yeah, it's yeah. already. I'm gonna start like real quick with you. We got a couple of hammers here. I did bring that. It's gonna be a little noisy, okay? Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be a lot of work. Now we're cooking. Watch, watch how fast we do it now. Dude, that's a lot of foil. I bet you this is a race and I'll win, bro. You can't race perfection, man. Yo, so I think technique. one of these is going to be a pretty big ball. Yeah, dude, look. look at the technique. Yeah. And that's just ball. like barely anything. Oh, look at Jay already. Oh, oh look at that. We're going to have the biggest ball. <laughs> <laughs> Guys in their big balls, you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> Foil balls. It's gonna be huge. Huge, Tampa Bay. Huge. They won't understand that. You know what? That same guy he used to be in Buffalo, yeah. and he and he would say, "It's gonna be huge, Buffalo. Huge." All right, I'm gonna get my hands dirty here. I'm gonna show you progression of progress. 
I I'm sure you don't want to hear all this banging too. So we're gonna see what one of these foils. Wow. I mean, look, look at Jay. Oh, I got a technique going, dude. Dang, dude. Damn. You wrapping up a burrito now. Look at that. <laughs> this is a big potato. I to hire you, bro. <laughs> Think I'm gonna do the same thing. <laughs> one foil roll is, is gonna probably be quite a bit. Oh, we're gonna see. Yeah, we're gonna see who has the nicest balls here in a second. All right, I was wondering why Gene's ball was bigger than mine. <laughs> My ball. <laughs> he used two rolls, and he's done. I can't believe that, bro. That that's that's very impressive. You gotta like massage the ball. <laughs> it works though, actually. One thing that you have to keep in mind is foil has two sides, and I only know this because I used to use foil a lot for hairdressing. Yeah. And I would put my hair, you know, the hair that I would highlight on the dull side and leave the shiny side out because that was, that's the side that attracts the heat. But it's going to be shinier if it's on the shinier side. See? Shiny side, not shiny side. Right, guys we have reached one of the points of failure but that's okay because you learn with failure so we've been uh smashing these balls for i don't know it's been like it's an hour and a half yeah an hour and a half and uh like gene said it, it's gonna be impossible he was sanding that ball right now it did nothing. And, and it didn't do nothing so we're gonna do some smaller balls and, it, it, you know, if the video does well and you guys want to see a ginormous ball, we're going to combine these that we got and we're going to buy some more and we're going to make a ball like the size of my house, a foil ball. Like, legit, it will be a world record. Like, I, I'm, I'm so down to do that. It's going to take a couple days. Uh, a couple <laughs> of days. Let me know if you want to see a video like that. We might even cut a hole in it and do an overnight challenge inside. Bro, that'd be that would awesome. be dope. How cool would that that'd be? That'd be awesome. Yeah, like a, a foil ball overnight challenge inside. I, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll make it work. We're going to get some smaller balls. We're going to sand them and do what we were going to do, and it's probably going to take less time. Dude, I still want to sand that. You want to try it? Go ahead. Give it, give it a shot. I want to get this one tighter and then wow. sand it. Oh, wow. You got a scale? Um, I want to see how much that thing I is. don't have a scale. Oh. My whole house is trying to sleep, too, and we're like, pop. <laughs> I'll just give you a, I mean, you, you know how that sound was when we were banging and we're all banging on the table and stuff. Yeah, my wife is probably wanting to kill me right now. All right, we're going to show you our small balls here in a little bit. It's actually pretty shiny. It's getting there. Getting there. Getting also a lot rounder, but my hand's not looking so high. Uh... I just finished coming back from the gym, and today was arm day. And then I'm using the hammer. Like, my arms are, like, going to be so cramped up tomorrow. Hey, bro, you want some of those shoes right there? You can have those. Here's my ball so far. I know it looks kind of pathetic. We're going to do a couple of these, and we're going to color them. Still gonna be a lot of work, but you can see it's already getting pretty shiny. Here's his too. Eh. Eh. I feel like the videos that we've been watching on YouTube where it shows those really nice, shiny nice aluminum though. balls. I, I think they're clickbait. I think they buy some nice shiny balls on eBay. We should have just did that. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just kidding. It's hard to get rid of these little gaps right there. Doesn't matter how awesome you smash it. I'm, I'm still working on this one. This is the best that I can do right here. Still not good. I mean, look at all those little crevices and stuff. I'm not giving up though. I mean, it doesn't look like these guys are either. This one's shinier than, than the other one. Look, look, bro, that is the densest one we got. And it's dull as heck now. I think you can make it shiny just by hammering it, honestly. I just want to apologize to you because this is the best I can 
do. Yeah. Um, this is probably the worst video on this, and I'm sorry for that. I just want you to know that I really tried hard. If you're going to try to do what we tried to do, you have to take Jay's advice here. Get yourself a rubber mallet. And you have to have one of those rotating wheel thingies, a buffer. Get yourself the right grit. Like you have to use like a, like a smooth sandpaper. Like the stuff we were using is, is too gritty. Like this would be a little shinier. Uh, just think of something that you would wax your car with, something like that. Like maybe, maybe a little grittier than that. And then use a polish. I mean, gosh, I don't think I've hammered so much in my entire life. Look at our hands, man. Look, it's all full of yeah. aluminum. Yours is a lot worse than mine. Yeah. But it's I still bad. I feel like I got, I don't know, I'm going to go take a shower right now because I feel like I have, like, aluminum in my nostrils. I'm going to go ahead and let you go, but the offer is still up about us doing a 24-hour challenge in a giant ball of foil. I'm, I'm so down to do that. I think that would be really cool. Like, we'll make a, a foil fort. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a fun video. Let me know if you want to see it. I am really tired. We still have to pack because we are leaving tomorrow to go see James. And we're going to go on this really cool mini. Uh, they're never vacations, okay? Don't ever. I mean, they're, they are fun. I do. We do have fun, but we work a lot. And we go film some really cool places. But, yeah, we're going to be filming some cool videos for, you know, the big channel. Plus, I'm going to be giving you guys some behind the scenes and... We're supposed to be going to check out The Devil's Tree. That's what it's called. They made a movie on it. I watched the movie. It's a good movie. Uh, I think it was like an independent film. But yeah, we're going to take you there, and it's going to be cool. And hope you're ready for some cool adventures. I got to go, but before we leave, give me a kiss.